Hi guys, welcome back to another server tech video review. Uh, as I said on the uh, Facebook page, I'll do a quick video on uh, this system here. This is my uh, own personal system. As you can see, there's two uh, two sort of systems that make up this one. Uh, I wasn't going to do a video, but the fact that the uh, previous video we put up got uh, got a lot of attention, so I thought I'd uh, show you this system. So this is two parts, as I said. Down the bottom has a Norco 4224. Uh, sort of hot swap bay uh, case. It's got 24 drives in the front that can all come out and it's got a few more drives I put inside it. This doesn't have a motherboard or a system in it. It's just running a SAS expander which just links up externally to my Cosmos 2. Um, some more info on the uh, Cosmos 2. It's running the uh, Maximus 5 Extreme motherboard, a 3770 uh, non-K CPU. Um, I don't need to overclock. I just run it at turbo and I also wanted the extra features that the, uh, the K version doesn't come with. Uh, it's also got 32 gigs of RAM, just some uh, Patriot uh, 1866. It's got a uh, pretty sort of alright water cooling system, cool lance, pump and res, uh, a few radiators, radiators and that, but you'll see that once I uh, go into it a bit more. It's got a EVGA GTX 580, it's got the uh, Hydro 2.1, it's got a Asus Zona sound card, 5.1 channel. It's got an Intel dual gigabit, uh, 10 gigabit uh, network adapter. It helps uh, copying files on and off faster. And uh, you may wonder why the bottom Norco has a shiny top on it. It's just that I put some uh, carbon fiber film on it to uh, protect the top a bit. Uh, alrighty, I'll uh, zoom in now and show, show you some shots of uh, inside the system. Okay, here's the, uh, the Norco here. Drives in the front, nice blue lights, and then inside it you've got. I actually did take the uh, the stock fan rail out. I kind of added my own in there, added some uh, 140s, 120 mil fans because it came with 80 mil fans and they just sounded like a uh, jet engine. So I took those out, and I've added a few more uh, drives there just to give me some more storage. And uh, there's the Chembro SAS expander there. So it pretty much just gives you a heat of mini SAS outputs that goes to the uh, back planes and then you just have your one that goes out to uh, to your PC and I've actually looped another cable back inside because it did give you a chain to go to another one but I also added those to go to the four drives in there and then I just got the Corsair AX 1200 power supply. Now here's the uh, Cosmos 2. I'll just show you a shot on the front. I'll just actually pull this down. Alright, so as you can see, I've got a uh, Cool Lance uh, res pump in there. It's currently uh, pump speed is 7. Up the top, that pulls out, and I can uh, fill up the res that way. And then I just got some few drives in there, and that's, uh, that's it there. I'll actually pull the uh, side panel off for you. Now, let's see inside here. Down the bottom, we've got a uh, Intel 240 SSD. I'll focus on that, sorry, not 240, uh, just a 60 <laughs> SSD for my OS there. And then in there, we've just got some, uh, some more drives in here. I actually haven't got around to uh, painting those ones white yet, as you can see, like the others, but uh, it's not too much of a concern, you can't really see in there. Close that up. So now you've got the uh, the white bays at the front there. As you can see, I've gone a bit crazy with the plexi. It kind of uh, neat neatens it up a bit, I think, because it's a, a bit of a mess. Otherwise, as there is a radiator there, you can see there's also a triple uh, jammed all the way at the top in there. A bit of plexi along there to hide it. Um, I've also, you might wonder what that uh, vertical white stand is, that's just to hold up my uh, VGA card because it was sagging quite a bit. And uh, I do like par parallel lines as you can see with the uh, clear acrylic there to get those parallel and then with the video card was quite a mission. So that's just pretty much, it acts the same as tubing. So 
so what I've done is you can just buy clear acrylic and then you just, just use a uh, Bits Power uh, crystal link fitting and it goes in there and it does look a, much better and it's nice and uh, it's nice and uh, stiff and uh, strong okay I'll try and get a shot in there a bit more so you can uh... alright so there's the CPU it's just a Bits Power block the RAM So you've got the uh, dual 10 gigabit network adapter, which is the one down the bottom there. Heatsink fan. And we've got the uh, Asus sound card. And we've got the, uh, I've got an IBM RAID card there. High point RAID card up one. And then the uh, EVGA 580 there. And some uh, sleeve cables will always look good. And that's so. But yeah, pretty much most of the drives in this system are just down, uh, down below in there. I've got some laptop drives shoved in the back and uh, that's all just being driven by a uh, HX1000 uh, PSU in the back there. And there's just a shot of the, uh, as you can see, nice sound card with the, uh, the lights there. So there's about 20 terabytes in the uh, Cosmos up here and there's about 55 in the uh, Norco down below. So uh, I'll just... Uh, Put this onto the uh, Dell screen just to have a look at some of the drive sizes. Now it's on the screen there. I'll just zoom in a bit. As you can see, there's the drives there. So I got pretty much an 11, 15, 16, 11, 12, and a few smaller ones there. Drive letters up there. So this system gets used for it's really an all rounder Photoshop, bit of gaming, website development, uh, all things like that of uh, photo editing, uh, I think I just said that, uh, video editing and whatnot, so um, anything you can throw at it, it'll, uh, it'll probably do, so um, let's zoom back out, so if you have um, any questions or anything on the system, it was just a quick, uh, a quick video, but um, there is quite a bit to it, so if you got uh, any questions about uh, the overall system or what drives are in there, what RAID cards, uh, the type of uh, RAIDs uh, used and whatnot, just uh, shoot us a message and uh, and yeah, till next time, uh, stay tuned and uh, we'll see you next time.